All right. Well, hello, Scorpios. How are you? I hope that you are well. Thank you so much for being here for your continued love and support of my channel. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you, okay? Uh, this is going to be a general reading. Take it how it resonates. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Scorpios, I do offer personal readings. If you are interested in receiving one from me, uh, information to contact me about that is down in the description box below, okay? Molly's brighter side at gmail.com. Um, there's also links down there to donate, support, or gift to my channel, should you feel so inclined to do so. Scorpios, nothing is expected, but all is greatly appreciated. Okay, so thank you in advance. And uh, please take a moment to like, share, subscribe. Maybe leave me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. All right, let's see what we got here. Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides, and Angels, show me Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio here? What do you got to say to Scorpio? Show me clearly. Show me Scorpio. One more. All right. King of Pentacles. Was that the bottom there before? All right. Could be focused on some money here. Could be a business person. Don't have to be either way. Heavenly Father. Spirit guides and angels. Show me. Scorpio. Most high message, please, for Scorpios. Somebody may be feeling a little abandoned, a little lacking here. Okay, somebody walked away possibly, or you're walking away towards wish fulfillment. Yeah, you might have been together for some time here. Yeah, queen of coins in the reverse here in the deck, but uh, she's supposed to be upright. Okay, we saw the king and the queen now. So you could have been married. Most high message. Yeah, somebody's standing their ground here. Spirit intervened in something. There's a need for patience. Okay, it could be reconciliation. Somebody wants to stand up. Yeah, for their Ten of Cups. They have something that they want to say. Action that they want to take. Okay, Six of Wands here. In the reverse, not feeling too victorious, not feeling recognized, heard. Somebody's going for a reconciliation here. They want to communicate with the Two of Cups here, bring balance to a situation. Something's been long enough here, having patience, and that for a new beginning. Let's see what we get here. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides, and Angels. Show me clearly. Most high message. Clarify the cards before me for Scorpio, please. Okay, yeah, 
This card wanted to pop out here at the bottom. Didn't want to come up with the crowd. Okay, this is missing a uh, morning, um, a love, uh, a, a, a soulmate connection here that you are either at a distance from or who has sadly passed. Somebody is remembering... Yeah, how somebody walked away. They're empress, okay? Could have children together. Don't have to. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here, Scorpios. Show me uh, five of coins, please. Why is the five of coins here, spirit? Yeah, King of Wands. Somebody feels abandoned here by King of Wands. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Someone very passionate. Um, male, female, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, yeah, there was union here. And like, where did they go? They walked away. You don't want my cup? Uh, that's it then. Um, yeah, trying to find themselves here. Um, somebody who is in the energy definitely of taking charge of things, making the decisions. Show me the five of pentacles. Now, the thing with this five of pentacles is, is it's like it's almost a, a gift from the divine. Okay. Typically they're outside in the cold. Okay. Being kind of shunned. But this is like a gift. Somebody went after their passion here. Yeah, things that were dark uh, that brought some clarity the next day. They went, there was healing. They needed to see something differently. They were heartbroken or you were heartbroken here. The memories, okay? Now you see someone doing pretty good. Okay, Queen of Pentacles again. Uh, somebody nurturing themselves, healing themselves. They were in the dark and needed the light here. Okay. Overcoming is what I'm hearing. Yeah, an ending for a new beginning. Scorpio, there you are. Way to show up. Yeah, they went for the Wheel of Fortune here. Uh, this card here, this is like the, this is the smoking death here. This is... Petty little changes, things that we say we do differently, but really we haven't actually changed crap, okay? This is um, fooling ourselves, okay? So say the best example is say you smoke, okay? You smoke cigarettes, cigars, pipes, whatever, and you know it's bad for you. You know that it's, you know, just a matter of time. It's like, you know tempting fate okay each puff you take and so you're gonna quit but now you just vape not much difference honestly let's be real we're talking here not much difference okay it's like oh yeah but I changed I, I quit smoking I don't smoke I vape yeah okay so yeah, that kind of thing. Somebody here, uh, you know, wasn't changing. Things weren't changing. Um, yeah, it was petty little things, you know. Oh, well, I don't do that anymore. I, I do this now. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. And somebody stepped out. They risked themselves here for a new beginning. You or your person. Take it how it resonates. All right. Show me this death card here. Yeah, a lot of regret. They ended some depression. Yeah. Working to create something here. Something positive. Eight of Cups. Yeah. Passionate new beginning. Okay, some abundance. Uh, the phoenix rising from the ashes. Yeah, nine of pentacles, single, independent. I got this. I can do this. This person is very caring and nurturing. 
Okay, look at that, you know, how tender they are with that little bird listening to spirit, following spirit. They moved. Maybe they're moving, okay, letting go of something they were involved with for a long time. Again, there was change, and spirit saw it all. Spirit saw it all for the empress, all that the empress was going through. This person had a glow up, started nurturing themselves, putting their foot down, setting boundaries. This is you or your person, okay? And uh, spirit rewarded that. Show me eight of cups. Yeah, they faced fears. Fears from the boogeyman, okay? The unrealistic things that we're afraid of that don't exist, really. All right, they push past those fears um, and they're looking for the door of opportunity here, that ring of sunshine behind the dark moon. All right, this person overcame. This was their last chance to end severe burden, very heavy energy, and they listened to spirit. They listened to how they were being pushed to do, to heal star energy. Could be healing from an emperor. Don't know. Yeah, that somebody was controlling. We have this. Uh, this is like the Scorpio saga. <laughs> okay. This is like the Scorpio saga. Tell me about the boogeyman. What's with the boogeyman? Yeah. Ending to have that change. It was scary. Yeah. Somebody could have been a player. Somebody could have been um, full of themselves here. That came to an end, okay? Somebody uh, started enjoying life more. Um, yeah, and it was heartbreaking for some. King of Cups. Let's see. The nine, or excuse me, seven of coin. Yeah, okay, in time. That uh, it could have been a long time. It was hard to let go, yeah, to fill this hole after someone left. But what did you learn from this? Three of Swords, the pain that you actually learn from that helps you grow. What have you learned? Okay, somebody's focused on the whole, this missing piece here um, after being cut out, okay? In time, be patient. Be patient with yourself. Yeah, the empress here, okay? This empress could have been uh, the one here that had that hole that that felt as though things were missing okay yeah that was heavily burdened and they needed to end the burdens yeah they went within okay they went within they found a divine path here but nothing really nothing really changed they were just fooling themselves and they realized that and they knew that they had to step into the darkness to create something wonderful. Show me the Empress. Yeah, started manifesting. Change, difference. Show me the uh, Seven of Wands. Relics. Okay, someone reminiscing. Yeah, feeling stuck at a crossroads, trying to heal a broken cup, a broken heart here, taking action out of the chaos. They felt stuck for some time. But they realized that tapes just kept replaying. Nothing, nothing ever changed and things were getting haywire. Yeah, we have Ace of Swords and King of Swords. Show 
Show me the seven of wands. Somebody is remembering the struggle here. Yeah, setting boundaries. Can do attitude here. They learn from the past to discover themselves, their divine path. Yeah, they rock the foundation. Yeah, somebody is remembering the past. What have you learned here? With the lover situation, at lovers at a distance. Six of Wands reversed here. Why is Six of Wands in the reverse? Yeah, tower moment. A huge aha moment. Somebody was not recognized, was not heard here, was not victorious. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Okay. Earth energy, somebody very focused on money, somebody very, uh, you know, business-like. Ace of Pentacles, new opportunity. Strength card, the Hermit card, and the Sun, getting clarity here on a situation. Leo, Virgo, and the Sun, strong, strong energy. Somebody's all caught up in their head here about their path. Show me this King of Pentacles. The devil. Something was toxic. Somebody's pissed about some deception here, maybe, or needing to take a risk and be strategic about their Ten of Cups. Yeah, because there's devastation here. And this is like, you know, people knowing, but somebody is just like, oh, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I got ten swords in my back, but I'm good, I'm good. This is acupuncture. We're trying something new. Yeah, right. Something had to change. Something had to move. Somebody started nurturing themselves. They got a different view of things. Yeah, for a new beginning. Show me the ten of swords. Yeah, nothing was nothing was changing. They were fooling themselves and they were still being completely devastated. Something had to end here. They had to get out of the chaos. They had to stand their ground. They listened to spirit and moved forward silently. Okay? Their decision was to bring about balance in this situation for themselves. Because they were stuck and bound and trapped in their mind. A lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, some mental illness may be here. And they had an awakening. Spirit brought them an awakening. They needed to nurture and care for themselves. Then Spirit was pleased. You have learned from that pain. You have learned. You have learned. Now somebody is just watching. They climb themselves out of a maze of darkness for self-love. That's what I got for you, Scorpios. Um, if that's you, your person, you know, take it how it resonates. But um, actually a very good reading. So uh, especially if it is you. All right. Um but this is what I have, and uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Let me know what you're thinking, and we'll see you next time. Bye.